the nightingale long ago there lived a noble emperor in china his magnificent palace and the beautiful royal gardens were well known every day travelers from many distant places came to see them beyond the royal gardens there was a deep forest a nightingale lived in that forest she had a beautiful voice and melodious songs never fail to enchant the weary travelers one evening while reading a traveler's account who had visited his empire the emperor read about the nightingale surprised he called his prime minister and inquired about the nightingale i know nothing about this bird your majesty said the prime minister find the bird and bring it to my court by today evening the emperor commanded the traveler prime minister asked every courtier and soldier about the nightingale but no one had ever heard of the bird at last a kitchen maid said the nightingale lives in the forest i have often heard it singing when the prime minister heard this he said take me to the nightingale at once and you will be rewarded lavishly so the next morning the maid took the prime minister and a few soldiers to the forest After walking for a while in the forest, suddenly the maid pointed to a little bird singing on a bough. Singing happily, the maid cried out, "There she is singing!" The prime minister and the soldiers were delighted to hear the nightingale's beautiful song. When the nightingale stopped singing, the prime minister said, "Little nightingale, the emperor emperor has invited you to come and sing at his court." This evening, I will surely come," said the nightingale politely. In the evening, the nightingale came to the court. She sat on a golden perch and sang melodiously. She sang so sweetly that it brought tears to the emperor's eyes, and the courtiers were enchanted. Delighted, the king rewarded her with a golden slipper. But she refused politely and said, "Your Majesty, I have seen tears in your eyes. That is the greatest reward I could have got." The emperor requested the nightingale to stay at his court, and she agreed. He placed her in a golden cage and ordered the servant to take care of the little bird. One day, the emperor received a present from the em- emperor of Japan. It was a beautiful artificial nightingale, studded with diamonds. Rubies and sapphires. To the emperor's surprise, the artificial bird sang just like the real nightingale. The two birds must sing together, he said, but this does not go well. The real nightingale sang in her own way, but the artificial bird sang only waltz. Soon, the artificial bird was singing alone tirelessly. for the court one day when the court was enjoying the sound of the artificial nightingale the real nightingale flew away into the forest unnoticed when the emperor discovered this he was very angry and banished her from his empire soon everyone forgot about the bird the emperor and the court entertained themselves by listening to the artificial nightingale One evening, when the emperor was listening to the artificial bird, suddenly someone inside it went whiz, and the music stopped. Troubled, the emperor called a clockmaker. The clockmaker checked the bird and said, "Your Majesty, the bird's barrels are worn out. As it cannot be mended, the bird will never sing again." A few years passed by. One day, the emperor fell sick. As he lay cold and pale in his bed, everyone thought that he would not live. In the emperor's room, a window remained open by his bedside, and the artificial bird was kept near his bed. One night, the emperor felt a strange weight on his 
chest. He woke up and he saw the death sitting there. Death had worn the emperor's golden crown, held his sword and his banner in his hands. All around the bed hovered many faces, some ugly and some pleasing. These faces were the emperor's good and bad deeds. They stared at the emperor and asked questions one after another. Someone, please play some music. I do not want to hear what they are saying. The emperor cried out. Suddenly, a sweet music filled the room. Outside on the bow of a tree sat the real nightingale singing. She had heard of the emperor's illness and, come to si- and had come to sing for him. As she sang, the strange faces started disappearing. The emperor's weak limbs were strengthened again. Enchanted by the nightingale's song, that too floated out of the open window in the form of a cold white mist. Thank you, little nightingale, said the emperor. I had banished you from my kingdom, yet you have saved my life. I do not know how to reward you. The tears in your eyes when I first sang to you was my reward, said the nightingale. Sleep well now, your majesty. The next morning when the emperor woke up, he saw the nightingale still sitting on the bow. Please stay with me, he pleaded. I cannot. I will come and sing to you every day, but do not tell anyone about this, said the nightingale and flew away. So the servant entered the emperor's room, only to see him healthy and smiling. Thank you.